Hi guys. So today we'll have a small demonstration of neuro navigation, and uh, we use the Metronic system. And uh, this is the latest cutting edge technology for doing neuro oncology in a much more precise way. I will request my associate, uh, Dr. Sachin, to explain how we go about it in a day-to-day -day practice. Hello, friends. I'm Dr. Sachin. I'm junior consultant at Apollo Hospital, Chennai. Now today I'll be explaining about what is the navigation in neurosurgery. So allow me to give one example. So when you are driving on the street, when you want to reach to one target, you use Google map where you set in your target and Google map calculates and gives you information in three forms. One is it will give you the distance, how far your target is. Second thing, it will calculate the route map. And third thing, it will also tell you some obstacles like traffic signal during your path. Same way we have this navigation system in neurosurgery where once we set in some information like in the form of CT scan or MRI of the patient, it tells us where is exact location of the tumor, then where we have to do the opening and how much tumor to be removed. So this is the navigation system, Medronic Stealth Station navigation system we have. It is compatible with our microscope which is Pentro 900. and. The main prerequisite to start this navigation system is MRI and CT scan. Once you fit in the MRI and CT scan in the navigation system, you have to, with the help of that, the navigation system will give you a direction. It will tell you which part of the brain or the skull the tumor is located. So it helps us to do a precise opening only to that part. So it avoids unnecessary blood loss. Second thing, once we are inside the tumor, our microscope, which is compatible with the navigation system also tells us that how much of tumor is left inside and how much tumor we have to remove. So this is what navigation system is about. Allow me to give you three examples where all the application of navigation system in neurosurgery is. So this is the first example where we are using the navigation system for the tumor removal. So where now here we have a MRI of the patient which is already fed inside the navigation system and now First step is the registration of the patient in the navigation system. Now we've already done and finished the navigation system. And now with this navigation, the system is able to tell us where is the location of the tumor. So you can exactly see the tumor is located on the right side of the brain, one thing. Second thing, with the help of navigation system, we can actually decide and mark how much of the brain, how much of the uh, uh, skull or the bone area has to be removed so in order to avoid the excessive blood loss and third thing once we are inside the tumor it tells us how much of the tumor has been already removed and how much of the tumor is left inside so another role of navigation in neurosurgery is its application in the spine surgery so same like brain surgery we have to get the ct scan on and x-rays of the patient which we have to fit into the navigation system and register the patient and after that for the various pathologies, when we are stabilizing the spine, we have to insert the screws in a very precise direction and in precise location. So navigation system allows us to insert the screw in order to avoid the eloquent nerves and the spinal cord and fix the spine appropriately. One more application of navigation in neurosurgery is its role in endoscopic surgery. So sometimes we pass an endoscope in the brain cavities to make an alternative bypass for the flow of fluid in the brain which is called a cerebrospinal fluid. So in order to properly guide the endoscope inside the brain, we can incorporate the endoscope along with the navigation. The navigation system can run along with the endoscope and show us the correct path where the bypass has to be made. One more thing, sometimes there are abnormal water contents inside the brain which are called arachnoid cyst. Now sometimes we use the endoscope to make opening of this abnormal water content into the normal content, what we call fenestration of arachnoid cyst into the cerebrospinal fluid. So for that, also incorporate navigation into the endoscope and navigation will guide us into this abnormal water content and it will help us at which proper or exact area where the fenestration has to be made. So friends, allow me to give an example and a demo of how navigation is used. So this is one of the common case done in day-to-day -day neurosurgery practice. So this is the case of a tumor which is called meningioma which generally comes on the outer aspect of the brain and it pushes the brain inside. Now when it pushes the brain inside it can irritate the brain and it can cause seizures or fits 
other thing it can also cause weakness or paralysis in any hand or leg now the precise neurosurgery is removing of this tumor without disturbing the surrounding brain so that is where the application of neurosurgery is about so what we do is we incorporate the mri so as you can see this mri is incorporated in our navigation system and once the navigation system registers the brain registers the tumor it tells us where is the exact location of the tumor inside the brain so in the earlier days of neurosurgery there used to be a big opening more blood loss and lot of damage to the normal brain structure now in the modern neurosurgery with the help of navigation we can actually see see only this part of the tumor which is actually carrying the tumor and it also helps us to do a precise small opening surrounding only that part of the brain or the tumor and the concept of brain removal in neurosurgery is sometimes we go inside the tumor and core the tumor from the inside so navigation which is also incorporated with our microscope tells us how much of the tumor is left inside the tumor and how much is tumor is removed it also tells us how far we are away from the important or eloquent structure of the brain so you can see this is the area of the skull where the tumor is located so this is the front part of the tumor and that is the back part of the tumor so that way it allows us to do a precise and small opening over the skull so that avoids unnecessary blood loss at the same time the navigation system also guides us that how far we are away from the very important or eloquent area of the brain the damage to which can cause a major neurological deficit or damage at the same time when we go inside the tumor the concept of tumor removal in neurosurgery is sometimes we have to enter inside the tumor and core out the tumor from inside with the help of ultrasound aspirators so while doing that navigation system constantly tells us how much of the tumor is left behind and how much of the tumor is removed so you can see how the navigation system makes the job easy for the surgeon at the same time it improves the outcomes of the patient so we have seen a overview of what the navigation can do to neurosurgery modern neurosurgery means precision modern neurosurgery means good outcomes modern neurosurgery means small incisions modern neurosurgery means reduce blood loss modern neurosurgery means that the patient benefits out of technology for the patient to get best outcomes 